So for this tier list, we are going to be ranking every single season in Apex Legends. Now, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to um, rank the seasons by, like, which legend was new. So, like, for Season 3, I'll put Crypto. Uh, for Season 0, I'll just put all of the classic legends, you know, Bangalore, Wraith, Bloodhound, uh, Lifeline, Gibby, and Path. So, um, we're going to start out with the newest season, Season 8, Automatic F. Now, the reason that Season 8 is an Automatic F is because of the terrible servers. This has been a just in a problem throughout the entire season, and so far, Respawn has, you know completely pretty much completely neglected it like they haven't really done anything to improve it they say they're working on it but i mean i literally had a ranked game earlier today where i couldn't even pick up loot out of enemy death boxes that's just that's that's way too bad you cannot be doing that the other thing is is the uh infinite loading screen glitch which i know has been happening a ton for different people personally it's never happened to me but i know that that is definitely happening for other people um third reason is because of the just the super high ping of the servers. Servers have been so high ping lately, it's honestly, it's borderline unplayable sometimes. Because I'll get into these servers where I'm like, lagging so hard that I'm like, moving around. I lagged off the map one time, top 2, I had 13. No, not 13, what was it? Um, like, 8 or 9, I think? 8 kills? Not 13, why did I say that? 8 kills. So I lagged off the map, and then we ended up losing. So dumb. And this was in a pubs game, by the way, not a competitive game. And it was with some randoms. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's why Season 8 is in F tier. Fuse is not bad, but, you know, if you can't introduce a, you can't, you know, the, the just the downsides completely outweigh the benefits of this season. Like, Fuse and the 30-30 repeater can't really save the season from this cursed tier. Now... I mean, I think that Season 8 could be really, really fun, you know, with the Chaos Theory event and the Anniversary, but they, Respawn just hasn't really done anything to fix the servers. Anyways, Season 0 is going to go in the B tier. Now, the reason for this is because, you know, this was A, when Apex Legends was at its peak, and B, you know, like, it's that's when it was arguably, like, some of the most fun that people would ever have is when everybody's running around, you know, all the noobs and stuff. Just utter, utter noobs. Nobody was very good at the game much at all. So, yeah. Um, the only thing that was bad about it was that it was full of bugs, but then again, you know, Season 0, you know, there's it's the game was first released, so there's going to be tons of bugs. Um, season 3 was probably one of the best, in my opinion, so I'm going to put it at um, S, I mean, I didn't even play it, I didn't play any of it, or no, I'll put it at A. Um, I didn't play any of it, but from what I hear, like, it was super, super good season. I mean, we had the new map, World's Edge, for one thing. Um, Crypto was pretty good, too, so, yeah. Um, what else? Season 7, eh, I mean, it was, I didn't really play much of it, but, you know, I'll put it in C tier, because it's kind of like that. C tier is kind of like the... Uh, didn't play. So, you know, I didn't really play it too much, but, you know, uh, we'll put it in B, just because, you know, it was, it was, when I did play, it was good, so, you know. Uh, Season 5 was really, really good, definitely. I mean, we had Loba, like, the treasure hunting stuff, that was awesome. Uh, season 1, eh, it, was, it wasn't too bad, I'll put it at a, I'll put it at a C. Um... Season 2, now, Season 2, Season 2 was one of, like, the very first seasons that I played. Um, I played, like, the very end of Season 1 and, like, the very beginning of Season 2. And now, like, like the very beginning to, the, like, the, the middle. So, Season 2, I'd have to say, probably, I mean, it wasn't, I, I don't remember it being, like, the best, but I'll put it at, I'll put it at, I'll put it at a B. Um, season 6... Season 6 was actually pretty fun for me. Um, you know, the, the only downside was the R9 was in the care package. Which I do not think that they should have done by any means, like, at all. But we did have the new Volt SMG, we did have Rampart. Rampart was pretty good um, when she was first released. And lastly, Season 4. The only reason Season 4 isn't going in, like, the bottom three tiers is because we, me and my friends had so much fun playing this. Like, we would get on Apex every single day. However, you know, like, we had, they had Revenant, who was just so underwhelming, 
And on top of that, the Havoc meta, that was just terrible. Oh, I forgot. Um, season 6 should actually go in C tier because of the Hemlock. How big of a problem the Hemlock was with its, uh, I, th I think it was like 2.5, either 2 or 2.5 times Hedgehog Multiplier, but I'm not too sure. Um, so that is the uh, Apex Legends season tier list. This is just my opinion, going off of what I remember. So this is not fact, it's not set in stone. Don't hate on me. Bye.